Hello, Trent here with Quick Flip Easy Ship. Coming at you with a pickup video today. Went out to some thrift stores and yard sales and I've got what could be some major serious home runs. So let's go. To survive eBay. Uh, good morning. It's a blistering cold December morning here in southern San Diego. Maybe an hour or two ago, whenever it was still dark, I could, uh, you know, see my breath and everything. Go on yard sailing. Went to a yard sale. The guy was just unloading stuff out of his vehicle, just out onto blankets and stuff uh, out on the side of the road. Uh, had a lot of uh, decent stuff for if you're looking for stuff around the house and everything. But uh, one thing I saw that I decided to try out, he had about 10 or about 15 I ended up picking up. A lot of 15 of these uh, golf um, adjustment uh, wrenches. They have different kinds of bits. Uh, a lot of them are like torque bit drivers. Here's one for Adams Golf. Uh, it has a nice bag. A lot of these have, looks like they've never been used. Here's a tailor-made R11 Fairway Woods fitting accessory. Uh, another Callaway uh, Callaway Golf one. Uh, I started looking a couple of these up, and looks like they can sell from seven, eight to ten dollars for the ones that I looked at. Uh, I've got about 15 of them here, uh, and I paid uh, ten dollars for the whole lot. So hopefully that turns out. It's kind of an experiment, but these items, if they turn out to be decent sellers, these are definitely uh, easy ships. I mean, you just put it in a little poly and this is probably going to be, I'm guessing, under four ounces. Okay, went to one yard sale where I ended up getting a, a lot of a bunch of different little, little things. Uh, I paid around $9 for everything. First thing is something I'm probably going to use for myself. It's this uh, Schick Hydro 5 Sensitive Razor Set. I can see in there, one, two, three, four. There's 12 razors right there. The razor blade itself has been used, so I can just uh, clean that up with, you know, soak it in alcohol and clean it up really good. And, uh, you know, razors are not cheap, so uh, $2 for this. Uh, I'd say it's probably a really good deal. Next in that lot, we had a couple of uh, wrist stabilizers. This one was Loose Ultra Brand. And then this one was looks like it's never been used in the box. Futuro Deluxe Wrist Stabilizer. Um, you know, knee braces, ankle braces, wrist braces, stuff like that uh, can sell. Uh, this medical kind of stuff is not cheap. Also in that lot was a small stack of DVDs. Paid about 50 cents a piece for them. Uh, they're all clean. We got Mission Impossible 2. Mission Impossible 3. Detonator starring... Pierce Brosnan and Patrick Stewart, Wesley Snipes, The Art of War, Wesley Snipes, Boiling Point, Sean Connery and Lawrence Fishburne, Just Cause. Last but not least, we got an ink set here, uh, official HP, uh, 21 in black and 22 multicolor. Uh, I didn't look it up, but it's a sealed thing of ink. Hopefully it's still okay, and I'll research it and see if I can make any money off of it. Okay, last yard sale I went to, I saw some Nerf guns. Uh, I was trying to make a deal with the lady. She was concerned about keeping the, like the magazines with the guns and having enough magazines for the guns because I saw some drum magazines here and uh, I would I would have been just perfectly fine with just getting those and leaving some of the guns behind. But anyways, finally I was like, look, I got 15 bucks left. Uh, what can you? What can I get for 15 bucks? She couldn't make a decision, so then I took everything I wanted and put it in a pile. I said, how much for this? And she knew I already had 15 bucks left only, so she goes, uh, yeah, 15 bucks. So for the 15 bucks, I got this uh, Nerf uh, Deploy. Now, I've had bad luck with these Deploys in the past, and uh, this one is, again, disappointing me because I did not realize uh, that there's somewhere on here. Oh, yeah. Right here, it's cracked. I didn't see that uh, when I was looking it over at the beginning, but at least it had has this drum magazine, which these sell for decent cash by themselves, so I'm still okay. But yeah, the Nerf Deploy, I would stay away from that. I've, I've never successfully sold one because there's always been something wrong with it. The reason why is it's very flimsy. It's some kind of special Nerf gun that uh, I'm having trouble breaking it down. Oh yeah, 
it's it transform it like breaks down and and basically transforms into into like a little I know I don't even know but it's very flimsy and I would recommend not picking it up. Next we got a Nerf Recon CS6 with a buttstock and a magazine. It's an okay blaster. It's in okay condition. It's missing the barrel and there is a a sight piece that can go on it. So, but you can sell parts of it uh, just fine. Uh, I especially am happy to get it because of the magazine and the buttstock. Next in that lot was a Firefly. This was the kind that uh, you put batteries in it and this uh, barrel here, as you pull the trigger, it it, it uh, flashes a light. So your, the intent is to use glow in the dark, uh, the, uh, use glow in the dark darts with it. So when the light flashes, it charges the dart and makes it glow in the dark. Uh, one of the not as good selling blasters, but uh, it was a part of the lot, so go ahead and pick it up. Last from that lot is uh, a new one for me. This is the Hyperfire Elite. Got to look it up. Uh, again, it has this uh, 25 drum magazine. Uh, these drums uh, sell for decent cash by themselves. So, uh, And this looks like a pretty decent blaster. It, it's one that takes batteries, so I'll have to look it up and see how well I did with that. All right, honorable mention. Uh, at one of the yard sales uh, over at somebody else's house, there was they had some stuff for free, and one of them was this Hoover self-propelled uh, vacuum cleaner. Looks kind of old school. Uh, I'm just going to look it up and see if any of the, because uh, it's got all the accessories in there and everything. I might test it and see if it works, actually. Um, if it doesn't, or even if it does, I'm still going to look up the and see if anybody sells the accessories for this particular model. Uh, and if they sell, maybe I can make some free profits. We'll see. If I can't do anything with it, uh, then I will just put it back out on the curb. Uh, living in Southern California, San Diego, you put something on the curb out here, it doesn't matter what it is, it'll be gone pretty quick. So it's kind of a nice thing to have at your uh, disposal. All right, then I hit up the thrift store, uh, found some more Nerf. Got that same blaster, the Recon CS6, but this time it does have the barrel, if you can see it there. Uh, and there's some random stuff in there. There's a pair of uh, Nerf goggles. There's a butt stock for a, 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 a one of the disc shooting Nerf guns, um, and a couple of uh, pistol style blasters. Uh, one being the Maverick. Uh, price tag on that was $7.95. I got a 20% discount. Uh, not bad. Uh, now I can make a more complete uh, recon as well. So uh, I'm perfectly fine with that. Next at the thrift store, I found. These Keens. Now, this is a model. Keen is a brand I've mentioned before. Uh, very good brand to, to sell. Uh, this is a model I haven't seen before. You can see they have these like 550 cord, like it's been uh, all woven together. So, this will be a new one for me. Uh, I know the Keen sandals again sell pretty well, anyways. And these are in really nice condition. Price tag on those was $5.95, and I got a 20% discount. Okay, uh, last but not least, potential mega home runs here. Uh, on the way out of the behind the counter, I saw these three items. They're from the same series, and uh, I was like, yeah, I need to look those up right away. Um, so what they are is from, it's a game called Warhammer for, for uh, 40,000 or 40K, Warhammer 40K. So first one I got is this one here the apocalypse uh shadow sword slash storm lord it's like a tank uh all the the price tag on all these was 14.95 and i got 20 percent discount this one looks like it's still factory sealed it definitely has some uh, manufacturer's price tag on the back or i mean a, a retail price tag on the back uh the the price was 115 dollars um second one i got the uh same series apocalypse the Orc Stampa, Orc Stampa. <laughs> uh, that price tag's on the back again, 115. Uh, little damage to the box on this one, but still got some kind of uh, factory seal on it, I guess. Um, and third one, no seal, but uh, we've got the, uh, I believe it's called the Bane Blade. Yeah, Bane Blade. Uh, pr yeah. Bane blade. The price tag on this is uh, 140. So I gotta open this up and like inspect it and see what 
you know, if I'm hopefully I'm not missing anything in this. Uh, I did in the store, and it looks like all the cards that have all the pieces, because this is basically like a model that's used for a game. So they're all on those those car punch cards that you got to take the, the pieces off. Uh, it looks like everything's there, but there is a manual in there. I can verify that. But yeah, I looked up these three items on uh, just quick on eBay sold listings. Uh, we're talking a hundred to one hundred fifty dollars sales for each of them potentially. Okay, I gotta research further and be a little more careful. I might even call up uh, Game Empire that's close by to my house and and because they people play Warhammer there and they're like a big gaming board gaming uh, store, so they may be able to help me validate some of the stuff if I feel it's necessary. But uh, yeah, uh, what fifteen times three forty five dollars minus twenty percent discount, so about what. 38 bucks, something like that. I paid for these three sets. I'm hoping to make over a hundred dollar sale on each of them. So, uh, we'll see, but, uh, potential mega home run. I hope it works out. Well, that does it for my pickups today. I hope you enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know about your interesting finds together. Let's make some quick flips and easy ships on eBay.